now. Hello, everybody. Welcome to the Lost Cases of Sherlock Holmes. Adam will hopefully be with me for some of these as we go on, but I thought I would get a start on it because I really do like this game. It's been a long time since I've played it. Would it be too forward to ask your name? No, we're going to be Sex Cat 20. Oh, the old name. We're going to play through the first episode today. Click on the first book to begin your first case. New cases will become unlocked as you solve more cases. The precious Zooch Emerald mysteriously disappeared after tea time. Can Holmes discover the most sure-footed thief of his career? So we will start the case. I say, Holmes, was that the Duchess of Ashby de la Zooch I saw leaving Zooch his Emerald, not the Zouch. It was indeed, Watson, a matter of missing jewelry. The Zooch Emerald, worth some 50,000 pounds. Good heavens, Holmes, the bobble was stolen? Or so it appears. Come, Watson, the game's afoot. Aha! Click on the highlighted location on the map to travel to that site. Let us compare the Duchess's room now with what it looked like before and find the seven differences. Compare the two images and click on the differences when you find them. So, right there, there's a big difference. There's a difference. There's a difference. Uh, oop. The Zooch Emerald, one of the largest single stones of its kind. And the most valuable piece of jewelry I own. It disappeared after tea time yesterday. There we have something that was not there. Sherlock's pipe is hidden in each scene. Click on it to earn an extra hint. Oh, it's one right there. Then we have a difference right there. Those gloves must belong to Mr. Tompkins, the coachman. He was kind enough to help open my window when it was jammed shut. Interesting. I believe I detect some small white hairs in the latch of your window. Uh-oh. Anything? No, I can't. Oh, there sometimes is there. It's random every time you play, which makes it fun. I believe these gems need to be put back where they belong. Okay, so place the gems in the correct positions according to their shape to reveal the owner. It's obviously a... a collar of some sort here. Grab go. Sometimes it does not grab. <clears throat> like, I've clicked on it, it was like, nope. Dig a dun dun dun. The Empress of Persia's color. My dear cat, she always seems to get into trouble. Oh, does she? So we have one thing left. And then, let's see here. Is it in the ship? Is it there? What about... Ooh, is it there? No, I do not need a hint. I just need to be able to see. Oh, is it... No, it's not actually on top of it. Anything there? Nope. Anything there? What am I missing? I do need a closer look, but I can't see. What am I missing? I've beaten this thing in four minutes. Let's see here. Oh, duh! Mrs. Beckwell brought me fresh scones at tea time. She's a wonderful cook. That's everything. Sometimes I must be in the whole game by this point. I may have formulated a theory as to the identity of the culprit. Have you? I will need your help in examining the room adjacent in order to further my theory. Let's see if we can find these items I suspect are in this room. Okay, use Sherlock's list of clues on the left and click on those items when you find them in the scene. Well, there is a tulip. Let's see here. Spoon. Sometimes there can be a bunch of the, uh, oh, we want that. Sherlock's cap. Okay, so... Okay, sometimes stuff ends up over there in the corner, but I guess it did not. There's the pipe. Let's see here. 
That is not what I thought it was, I guess. We do go ahead and do this. It appears to be locked. Let's see here. Let's get that there. Actually, let's get that there. That there. There we go. Bump, bump. I say, Holmes, it really quite baffles me that a thief would take the most recognizable piece of jewelry and leave behind so many other items of value. Okay, and then there's one of the tulips. Let's see here. There's a mouse trap. Let's see. Brush. There's one of the cups. There's a tulip. There's a spoon. Anything on here? Nope. That is nothing there. There's the cup. It's just a pitcher. Let's see here. There. Oh, that's not a mousetrap. What about there? Nope. There's a spoon. Those spoons must have been left by my maid. Miss My Michaels was polishing the silverware this afternoon. Let's see here. So we need to find the tea kettle. Dum, 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 dum. There's the other cup. Where is the tea kettle that I am missing? Says I. Did not let me. It's not. That's a pitcher. Let's see here. Nope. Oh. All right, you. Where did you end up? Oh, wow, I'm missing a tulip, too. Okay, it's not there. Let's see... Still missing a mouse trap too. I have... Go figure, I played this a couple times ahead of time to, to kind of breeze through it, and I am really, really having a time today. There's the mousetrap. So I need a tulip and a teapot. Why would the tea the teapot should not be this hard to find? But I am having a time. Okay, that's not a tulip on there. I'm a little bit Flummoxed. Oh, there it is. That was a toughie. Freshly cut tulips from your garden, I presume. Yes, my gardener, Mr. Green, planted the bulbs last September. So all we have left is the stupid teapot. That is not it. That is not it. I keep thinking that that is something, and it's not. Where is my teapot? Aha! Behind the purse. Mr. Brantley usually retrieves the tea tray at dinner time. Your butler? Yes, for the past 12 years. Bad form, Holmes, not informing us of your theory. You know my pride. And I hate to expose myself to ridicule until I am certain of success. Your ladyship, do excuse us. Sorry about Watson, that. Let us return to Baker Street at once. All right. All these suspects had the means, motive, and opportunity. Let's arrange the pictures to fit the descriptions to reveal the culprit. Okay, select pairs of suspects to swap their positions. Arrange all suspects according to the row and column descriptions. I, I don't need to be told. Okay, and you're gonna go... Magnificent. There we go. Now that we've correctly arranged the suspects, we shall eliminate them one by one to reveal the true culprit. Let us review the evidence that implicated each suspect. And so it's a teapot, silver spoon, cat collar, scones, tulip, right glove. 
I don't need to be yes. told, but okay. Alright, so this time... I don't think the gardener nice would work. have pie. Alright, and then spade on the coachman. Righto. Nice work. The cat did it. Got it. The Empress of Persia. Your ladyship, I am happy to return the Zooch Emerald. But how? And you promise to identify the thief? You bastard! As to that, I draw your attention to these distinctive white hairs caught in the clasp of the brooch. The Empress of Persia? Indeed. <laughs> I was able to retrieve the brooch and the catnip toy from the mouse hole. And I dare say, someone with better tools might find more in there as well. I'm simply Speechless. How appropriate. Seems the cat's got your tongue as well. Oh, Holmes, you're fucking funny. So here we go. Case solved. And we got the Sherlock bonus cap. So, that's kind of how this game goes. This one's pretty short. I'm going to kind of keep these as one per video in case people actually enjoy this and don't want as long as video as what it would normally be. Something that you might want for a, you know, short amount of time. I thought these would be great to do. Our next episode will be the Assassinated Aerialist. When, a, when murder strikes in public and a thousand feet in the air, it's a trap. Or excuse me, it's a trip to the circus for Holmes and Watson. So that, this is a pretty fun one too. I've always liked the Assassinated Aerialist. Or aerialist so, fun game I've always liked. This has been forever since I've played it, so... As you can see, even where it's randomized every time, me playing it before really doesn't matter. So, we're going to pick this up in the next episode, and as always, I hope you've enjoyed, and stay tuned for the next episode of The Lost Cases of Sherlock Holmes. Bye, everybody.